sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Alleluia. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Alleluia. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Alleluia. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Christ the Lord to us said, I am wine, I am bread. I am wine, I am bread. Give to all who thirst and hunger. Christ the Lord to us said, I am wine, I am bread. I am wine, I am bread. Give to all who thirst and hunger. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. All, all our hearts are filled with, with glad, gladness, even though, though we may be in separated from friends and loved, loved ones. We still come to celebrate and to worship God. We give thanks that you at least are, are tuned into to this uh, um, and message, and we uh, give, give, give thanks and for all the support that you give, give to us that we might continue to, uh, to give to you. Let's begin our service. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, whose forgiveness is sure and whose steadfast love endures forever. Amen. Together, let us honestly and humbly confess that we have not lived as God desires. Loving and forgiving God, we confess that we are held captive by sin. In spite of our best in efforts, we have gone, gone astray. We have not welcomed a stranger. We have not loved um, our, um, our neighbor. We have not been Christ to one another. Restore us, O oh God. Wake us up and turn us from our sin. Renew us each day in the light of Christ. Amen. People of God, hear this glad news. By God's endless grace, your sins are forgiven, and you are free. Free from all that holds you back and free to live in the peaceable realm of, of, of God. May you be strengthened in God's love, comforted by Christ's peace, and accompanied with the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, by grace alone you call us and accept us in your service. Strengthen us by your Spirit and make us worthy of your call. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our first reading this morning comes from the book of Jonah, the third chapter, beginning with the first verse. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, 40 days more and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them. 
and he did not do it. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Our second reading this morning comes from 1 Corinthians, the seventh chapter, beginning with the 29th verse. Brothers and sisters, the appointed time has grown short. From now on, let even those who have wives be as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing, and those who buy as though they had no possessions, and those who deal with the world as though they had no dealings with it. For the present form of this world is passing away. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The gospel today comes from the, go the gospel of Mark, the first, first chap chapter. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to, Ga to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has, has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Gal Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother and Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James and son of Zebedee and his brother John, who were in their boat, mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the, hi the hired men and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is in the, go the Gospel of Mark where Jesus begins in his ministry it begins at the point that John's ministry has come to an end. Having been um, arrested, there will still be a few more points in the story, but, but John's work has come to an end, but the message itself must continue. And so it does. Jesus m m reminds us um, of this, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of uh, God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. 
But this is also a fishing story. Not one, but two, or perhaps three. The first one, of course, is that Peter um, um, and Andrew and James and John, the sons of Zebedee, are all at work. They are fishing. It almost sounds as if they're, they're cleaning up from, from the night's, night's catch and will prepare soon for, for another night, night um, of fishing. But right now they are on, and on the beach doing what, what needs, needs to be done. There's another uh, uh, fishing story to this. Jesus comes and says, come and follow me and I will make you fish for people. That now instead of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, the fish that reside in the, in the Sea of Gal Galilee, they will be going out and finding and people and turning them, re returning them to God where they can experience the good news that is meant for all people, that the time has, has been fulfilled, this is it, the kingdom of God has come, come near. We oftentimes and focus um, on this as a command to us that we too are called to go out and fish and for people, but there might be considered a third fishing story. This is where Jesus goes, goes fishing. Jesus goes fishing for people as well. And where does he do it? Right where they are at. In this day and age, of course, the idea of looking for, for people to get involved in an endeavor is, is full of all kinds of interesting ways to do it. To do that, you can uh, post post your job on on online and um, and see and who m m and who responds. For a long time, it was want want ads in the paper that people would would uh, uh, look for a, a job that looked an interesting. And of course, there's always the full the full uh, the fallback of knowing and someone who knows someone who might be able to do that, that and that job. Jesus is much more clear and to the point. He goes where they are. He goes along the sea. And there he finds them. Now we're not sure how this all worked. Why Jesus would think that, that fishermen would be particularly good as um, apostles. He sure didn't seem to hold, to hold that up as a job description that he was looking for. I'm looking for people to form a new, an organization of uh, 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 um, religiously inclined people to follow God in new ways. I'm pretty sure they might have thought, thought differently but when Jesus just comes and says, follow me, they heard the call. In these uncertain days, it is well for us to remember this as well. The Jesus call to be, be fishers of people, to join in that uh, task of, um, of discipleship, apostleship, evangelism, Spreading the good, good news comes to us um, as well. And we might think, we're not qualified for this. This isn't what, what we signed up, up for in some, some way, but perhaps it is. Even in our limited ways, we are uh, uh, still in waiting for the all, all, all clear to return to to what will and certainly be a new form, form of normal. We still have ways of speaking the good, good news. We still come across people who are in need of that. Sometimes it's in our own families. And even though we know that they've heard it before, like us, we need to hear that word again. 
Jesus comes to fish for us, for you and, and for me. Unfortunately, when Jesus does this, he gives all of the tasks and all of the resources and all of the things that we will need in order to do it. And for that, and we give thanks that even in, in our own poor, poor ways, indeed, people come to faith. And we give thanks that we too um, come to faith um, in this um, as well. In the interesting and story of jo Jonah, we are reminded that there are still great cities and lots of people who have yet to hear and to, and to, to fully com com comprehend that the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. Amen. Let's confess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and, and, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the, uh, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Share God's peace with those who are around you now. God's peace be with you. Peace be with you. And God's peace be with you, and with you, and with you. God's peace be with you, Ezekiel. God's peace. And God's peace be with you as well. Let us pray. Gracious God, we ask for your wisdom that we might use all the gifts that you give, give to us. We ask that you would help in all of the things that are concerns for, for our life together. We ask that you would uh, direct us that the rollout of vac vac vaccines would, would be done um, in, 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 in healthy and uh, uh, sufficient ways. We also ask God for your work in helping us come to a more perfect union, union to hold fast to the old uh, uh, thoughts and principles that still hold, hold true, and to look to those new, new kinds of things and ideas that are yet to be a part of what, what we need. Direct us in all of these things and give to us um, a sense of tolerance and openness to one another that we might hear and, and uh, renew our, 
our connections together. We continue to ask God for your help in all of the needs that come, come, come before us. Needs of employment or mental health or, or a, 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 a safe, safety of one form or, or another. We continue to ask for, for a, a help in the needs that exist around the world in places that we seldom think, think of. And yet we look to you as the one who will continually and finally bring, bring, bring the things that are needed in desperate place, places. We continue to pray as well, uh, particularly for, for some of our, our uh, 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 friends and loved ones, for Adam and Renee, Neil and Anita, Jenny, Haley, Chanel, Tommy, Pete, Mitch, Jim and Marilyn, David and Lorraine, Steve and Ingrid, Spencer, Sharon, Joyce, Georg, Jana, Julia, Ananda and Daniel, Phyllis and Emily, Kim and Nicole, Chrissy, Merrill and David, Alicia, Brian, Penny, and, and Pastor Deb, and all we name before, before you now. For all these things and whatever else you know that we need, we bring them to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with, with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our, our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is um, indeed uh, uh, <laughs> there it is. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, Almighty and merciful God through our Savior, Jesus Christ. By the leading of a star, he was shown forth to all nations. In the waters of the Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved son. And in the miracle of water turned to wine, he revealed your glory. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. soil raised from dead you are whole In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in, in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of, of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The, pod, the body of Christ and given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. If you are receiving at home, you may share these gifts at this time. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm going to let it shine everywhere I go. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. May the body and blood of Christ our, our Lord strengthen you, keep you in true faith, and lead you to everlasting life. Let us pray. We give you thanks, almighty God, that you have refreshed us through the healing power of this gift of life. And we pray that in your mercy, you would strength strengthen us through this gift in faith towards you and in fervent love toward one another. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, give you peace. Amen. Now he sends us all out, strong in faith, free of doubt, strong in faith, of doubt tell to all the joyful gospel now he sends us all out strong in faith free of doubt strong in faith free of doubt tell to all the joyful gospel hallelujah we sing your praises all our hearts are filled with gladness hallelujah we sing your praises all our hearts are filled with gladness Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.